Okay, welcome to the Library YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to look at how to create a citation within Noodle Tools. So again, we start on the research page of the library website. Here we have the Noodle Tools link. When we click into that, it's going to take us directly into Noodle Tools. We no longer have to log in since we've linked it with our Google account. Notice this is a list of our projects, past and present. Um, when we click into a project, then it's going to take us to the dashboard for that project. So we kind of go into the different levels through here. So now we're on the dashboard of the project. We see some information, communication with teachers and links, um, but we're today looking at the sources. So once you're in sources, these are all of the sources that you found and created for the project so far, uh, and it lists them here. You can preview them. Uh, you can go directly to the link if it has a web link or view the source material. If you have note cards related to that uh, citation, then you can see those. You can organize it uh, by adding tags, and then you have several other options to edit and create information later. You can also have an in-text preview to see what the citation should look like in text. All right, but we're talking about how to create the citation. In the upper left-hand corner, you hit Create New Citation. You have choices. Uh, so kind of the big idea, is it a website? Is it print? So that's a book or a newspaper or a magazine that you actually have in hand. We're today looking at a database. So then we have a few other uh, choices once we get into it. Today I'm looking at original content. So something that was written for the database. Uh, at this point, you have three choices on how to do the citation. You can manually look at the citation uh, or the document, find out who wrote it, where it's from, when it was published, and type all of that information in. One of your other choices, right, or sorry, you type in the information, hit save, and you're done. Uh, one of your other choices that I recommend is, remember, when you're in this article, I always recommend emailing it to yourself. When you do email it to yourself, you can get this full text, and oftentimes at the top or bottom of uh, the email, you have this citation that you can just copy from your email or from the article and paste into this copy and paste section. You paste it in, you can edit it in case like here, uh, the link is a different font and that's kind of annoying and you have some of that editing capability here. Also, you can enter in other information. In MLA, it doesn't always require the link. So if you wanted to paste the link here, then that would be accessible later in your resource page, which might be useful to you. Uh, you can hit save or save and annotate, which opens a new screen so that you can take some notes about the source. Uh, your last option, when you're creating the citation is actually from the article. Many of our databases, like here, have this citation tool. Again, this is a way for you to grab the citation that's correct here, change format, or many of our databases, not all, but many have this export tool, which we can export it to Noodle Tools. We hit export, it opens a new tab. Notice uh, that when we do this, it defaults to the project that we've been working on recently. So you will wanna make sure that it's exporting to the correct project that you're working on. Uh, you can, again, edit it. And then we hit import references and it's done. It takes us back uh, into Noodle Tools. And if we go to our sources now, uh, we should have an additional one that's added automatically for us. Uh, so those are three different ways to create a citation within Noodle Tools. Uh, it's pretty simple uh, and a really useful tool. Uh, so this is another one of our help videos. Make sure you check our, our YouTube channel where we have a whole series uh, and playlist of help videos about multiple topics.